we meet again. So, what now? You are a demigod just as they are, you know. Hmm. If you can accept their actions, perhaps you should let go and allow your soul to become one with Gaia. You choose to move forward? This is exactly why your soul will never belong to the Goma, nor the Seven Deities. There is a great power hidden in you, one I have been looking for. So, Deus is to bring salvation to Gaia. But it seems he cannot do it without your daughter's power. Mithra. Now, remember why you are here in the first place. It will spur you on, my boy. Fuel the fire.
Control yourself! <laughs> Immersing oneself in battle like that. Well done, Asura! Now that you have something to protect, why are you so full of rage? Or... perhaps... that is exactly why. Something to protect? Nonsense! The only reason one needs to fight is the fight itself! That is so like you, Master. We have cleared this area of Goma. Let us return to Shinkoku. Right. Mithra, your father has returned. Welcome home, dear. Thanks. <laughs> so, that is what he must protect? Yes, though you may not understand why. Brother? He almost looks scared of her. He just doesn't know what to do when she starts crying. Then he should pacify her. Him?
Not bad, Asura. That uncontrollable rage of yours suits you well. <laughs> See what I mean? Asura, join us! Should we work together, we could more effectively exterminate the gold Test me. You are aware Mithra is the only suitable vessel to become priestess. Raise her with care. Incompetent as you may be. I wager that is one of your more charming features. At least we know now the source of the flame that burns in your soul. In other words, you... Stop. Hmm? What was that? Even one of the eight guardian generals is no match for his own daughter, is he? She's so small. <laughs> Do you know what I think? I believe that you only wish the best for our daughter. Shala Atula Mana Shala Atula Mana Shala Atula Mana All right, we've arrived at part two. We got a little bit of backstory on Asura and uh, why he has so much rage. It's about his daughter and what he, he doesn't know how to deal with her, it seems like. He's afraid to hurt her and wants to protect her. Uh, pretty good motivation, I'd say. <clears throat> okay, well, let's uh, check out the interlude now. Asura's residence, thousands of years earlier. It seems you made quite an impression in the last battle. Is that so? Mithra was praying for you the whole time. Did you hear my prayers, father? I did. 
I felt your presence with me and thought of you the whole time. So you didn't think about me at all, hmm? No, I meant... Oh, father. <laughs> General Asura, the next priestess has been chosen. What? General Asura, Asura's daughter, Mithra, is to be priestess. Congratulations, General. I will not allow it. Father, but why? I will not have you become a tool for war. If it will give me the power to protect you, I will gladly become the priestess. But... Mithra is gifted with the power to save the world. She could be the key to eradicating the Goma. Shut up! Osura, wait! Where are you going? Osura awakens on Gaia again, but this time at a small village shrine. His body has been enshrined by the local villagers. The Goma then attack the village, and soon after, Kalro's forces approach from the skies above. Alright, let's take a look at some art. In this one, we get the Goma Crusher. A large-sized Goma that resemble elephants with the vertebral structure of a gorilla. They often appear accompanied by a group of smaller Goma. They have incredible destructive power. And their impurity level is 680. All right, let's take a look at the illustrations now. We have a few from episode two and uh, Asura's residence. Asura's residence, located in the corner of Tristram, had once been the place where Asura, his daughter, and their, sorry, his wife, Durga, and their daughter, Mithra, lived happily together. But since that fateful day has become a place of tragedy and despair. And here's the concept art used for episode two. Banished from Shinkoku, Tristram, Asura falls toward the ground like a shooting star. Where he is headed could quite possibly be hell or worse. It looks pretty much just like the what showed up in the game. We got the Goma Crusher concept art. So veiny. And the description is pretty much the same, although it says that they have incredible destructive power that can split the ground open in a single step, and they swing their magma hot trunks at anything in their path uh, and shoot steams, streams of magma from them, which can melt almost anything. All right, let's finish off by taking a look at one of the art contest winners. That looks like they are on the moon. <clears throat> There's Earth. <clears throat> that looks awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Episode 7. We'll see you next time with Episode 8.